Hello everyone. Uh, when I, <laughs> I, f I forgot I left off in that little save menu, so when I started up, it basically just went to this. Y you didn't miss anything. It just killed off all the wandering enemies and it gave me this reward. So we got a silver bangle, a detoxifying amulet, and a house Zexhelm. Zexhelm. Uh, thingy. Cool. I'll give everything I've got to see if there's an aura burn. Yay! I'll do my very best to help you all. Yay! My name is Aramis, a wandering mercenary. Allow me to lend my blade to the Liberation's cause. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Alright, reward from Station Guards, 310. I got a lot of stuff since we've entered this new area. We're on a bit of an island right now as far as uh, areas we've actually liberated. My dad is so good at arm wrestling, he can beat everyone else's dads like it was nothing. Oh yeah? Well, my dad can beat up your dad. So glad I can go- I can be back with my family like this, and I've got you and your army to thank for it. It's even got me thinking about joining up with our town, watch. You know, to protect the people I love when they need it most. I can get just half as strong as you all, while I might just be able to do it. We're just discussing how best we can keep our town safe in this harsh world. Things might be okay now, but who knows when the next threat might come along. Make sure you're ready if you're heading into the desert. Those sands are a lawless place, you never know what kind of bandit might come crawling out of the next dust cloud. Okay, and that's where you're talking about, down there. I'll talk to you two. You two. It's easy to get bogged down in the desert, you know. Anyone who's not flying will move way slower in the sand. Now, some items can increase your speed, mine. Better take a few with you just in case. Or abilities. Oh. Hi. Hello. No money for a hired sword, either. Excuse us, ma'am. Is something the matter? Oh, whatever am I to do? She seems not to have hurt me. How can I fight the soldiers of the damned? Let me talk to her. Hello? Oh, oh my gosh, Lex. Gonna give somebody a heart attack. When did you... How did you... Who are you people? We're with the Liberation Army. Ah. The ones who defy Zenoira's rule. Yep, that's us. Our apologies for startling you. Nonsense. I share the blame for not minding my surroundings. May we ask what you're doing here, exactly? I was researching this magic sigil, but I've encountered a roadblock. One I have no possible means of resolving alone. What kind of roadblock are we talking? When I awakened the sigil, it breathed life into spectral beings. Warriors lost to time, who attacked me with reckless abandon. G -g 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 ghosts Hey! Warn a guy before you start telling ghost stories. Yet you appear to be unharmed. How about that? Well, I wasn't finished with my story, now was I? As the phantoms creeped ever closer, I was certain my time was finally up. I closed my eyes and waited for the end. But it never came. There wasn't so much as a scratch on my beautiful skin. Odd. After repeated attempts met the same conclusion, I've reached a hypothesis. These ghosts, as you call them, are nothing more than illusions birthed of an ancient sorcery. And the grounds we stand upon were used in days of yore to cultivate strength against the antagonistic apparitions. Yeah, that's a lot you just dropped on us. What I'm not getting is, how's any of that a problem? If they can't lay a finger on you, it should be easy enough to keep doing your thing, right? That depends on the thing. I want to know what happens when all of the Sigil's guardians are defeated. Oh, but I'm just one woman, and hardly capable of such a feat alone. Hence the worry. Yes, I've made it my goal of late to study the effects of combating the illusions. And should you be willing to help with my research, I'd be more than glad to join this liberation of yours. Yeah, sure. I understand. We'll do whatever we can to assist. I was hoping you'd say that. Lady's got me all curious now. You mean it? Oh, that's wonderful. All right, cool. So we're going to help you fight ghosts. Did I just wander into a battle? This is going to give me a point on the map. Now then, allow me to activate the sigil's power. Selvi joined! Sigil of the Ancients. 
Okay. Let me to activate the sigil's power. I could have left there, but... Okay, here we go. The Sigil's Trial Beginner 2. Auxiliary Stages. Challenge Auxiliary Stages to battle the Phantom Soldiers lingering within. You can do this as many times as you like, earning XP along the way. Oh, these are the grinding stages. As I mentioned before, you'll bear no injuries when you should you fall to the Phantom Soldiers within. Keep in mind, you'll earn no experience if you decide to leave the battle partway through. Okay... I wonder if I want to do all of them at least once, possibly? Maybe. We'll look into it in a second. I'm gonna finish my exploration first. Working myself into an early grave in these mines. Maybe I ought to head to the Coliseum and try striking it rich. Keep dreaming, pal. Swinging that pick's all you know how to do, and you're not even that good at it. Did you really have to put it like that? Rude. A little, a little rude, yeah. Uh, ooh, yes. Oh, wait, this is different kind of lumber. Unsullied lumber. Cedronite stone. Okay, so I'm not even gonna get the stuff I need to finish off the other area here right now. Yeah, we get different resources for this area. I was wondering if that was gonna be the case. Still getting divine shards, though. Hello. Holdra herb. Okay. Unsullied scrap metal. Yeah, these are just like upgraded versions of some of the things. How oh dare those are Norwin snakes put an old man like me to work in the mines. It's shameful, I tell you. I'll quit your whining. You're the one who was pushing folks out of the way to grab that pickaxe. Well, I just wanted to show the kids how it's done. <laughs> I was whippersnappers. They don't know how to mine like me. Hello. Really want to meet Prince Gilbert someday. Here he's going around the country saving anyone who needs it. Okay, and what? Like, is this like the bottom corner? It's almost like the bottom bit of the map over here. All right, so let's visit town. Uh, deliveries. Don't have enough copper ore, but I do have enough holdra herb. Hmm. We need ore. If there's a mine around here, I would be able to do something with that. Hello. Um, so what do I want from you? I could get a Templar's Axe, Spear, or Sword. Oh wait, no I can't. I only have four. Never mind. Yeah, 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 I'll return. Is this another one? Oh wow, hey, I can return. Uh, do I want some of the other stuff though? So, we could build up to Carnelian Pendant's Angel Plumes. Holy Knight Shield. I mean, those are good, but these would also just be good. They just give defense, though. Yeah, I feel like saving up for some of the more expensive items is probably the better call. I mean, these are good things, but... You know. Free to return when you found more Divine Shards. We'll probably get so many of those things that I can just start throwing them on, like, you know, whatever, basically. But... Hi. What do your deliveries need? Aha! I have everything I need for this. Deliver all. Thank you. Yay! You folks aren't from around here, are you? It's hard to believe you're doing all this for a bunch of strangers. Enjoy. And now I will not go to that. I will station a guard. Hey, Germain, get in there. All right. You won't find finer weapons in all of Drakenhold. Will I not? Are you a dwarf, I wonder? Let's see. Viper shield, guard efficiency plus 25%, poison immunity. I do have one of those. Defender's mace. Base PP plus one, quick barrier. Reduces damage taken by an ally by 50% for one attack. That's nice. Squire's shield, quick cover. Cover an ally with a medium guard. That is nice. Hmm. These things are expensive, but... I do want the kind of, like, unique things that we can get from each area. Much obliged. Um... Much obliged. What do you give? Guard efficiency, initiative plus one. Yeah, Carnet, 
shield, initiative, yeah. So we get a bunch of initiative and stuff from those. Okay, those are quite good. Like I said, I'm mostly focusing on getting like the most expensive items from each area. My wares won't disappoint. Her elaborate replica sword sold primarily by street vendors. An excellent gift for one who enjoys decorating. Interesting. I'll grab that. They're, they're incredibly, incredibly cheap. Uh, okay, cool. We owe you one, both for helping us and for serving as an inspiration for times to come. Alright, and Mirror Town. This town is uh, right on the old disputed border between Cornea and Drakenhold. Yeah, that it is. What do you want? Ooh, you just want some lumber. Oh, I got you, friend. Easy. Now I can station a guard here. Small town, though. Thanks for getting things sorted out here. Maybe now we can actually do our jobs. Hey, Renown. Thank you. Armor. You won't find finer Rookie egg. User earns 100% extra XP. Now that's pretty useful. Blessed round shield. Guard efficiency plus 25%. Heal 10% when using your active skill and extra max HP. Carnet rod. Bow, spear, axe. Yeah, so just upgrades for a bunch of these things. I mean, some of my characters are still rocking some pretty basic stuff, so it might not be a bad idea to get some of that, but... Um, rookie Egg, at least, is like a unique piece of equipment. I am going to buy that. Blessed Round Shield, same thing. Um, but I can come back here if I need stuff. But for right now, I'm going to hold off on that. Zora doesn't stand a chance with the Liberation on their heels. I believe in you. Alright, so... Oh, hey. Here you go. Pardon the intrusion, my prince. Would you permit me to visit the cemetery due to her advanced age? Yeah, the cemeteries of Drakenhold. Yeah, we still haven't found the last one in the other place, Cornea, but... At least I got you, uh, sorted here. And my deepest thanks, Elaine. The souls of the departed should rest easier now. Alright. Um... As far as rapport conversations go... Um... Doesn't look like we really have any ready to go here. Obviously, Elaine has a lot of people we can uh, become friends with. I need to start gifting to people more. Uh, all right, but I need to know what people like too for that. So uh, I stationed a guard at this one. I did not station a guard at you. So that's just one of the randos. Let's station a guard here, Morden. I won't let you down. Uh, do I have a drink? Plevian scripture, Vilta herbs. One who enjoys cooking, cut flowers, lapis lazuli. Air of refinement, one who enjoys tea. Excellent gift for one who enjoys decorating. Yeah, none of these things for Morden. I don't think Morden would like any of this. I'll figure everything out as I go. I always like kind of figuring out what gifts characters like in games, especially as someone that plays, uh, quite frankly, a shit ton of life sims. Uh, just like kind of getting a feel for people's personalities. I usually try to avoid just looking stuff up as long as I can in those games. Although sometimes in life sims it can get a little bit crazy. Hello. Sword fighters like me are devoted to the blade and train day and night in hopes of delivering the killing blow. Consider hiring us for your army if it pleases you. Give. Give. Even more stuff to grab. Okay, and there's where the enemies start again. Sometimes it's better to just add numbers to a unit rather than making new units entirely. Try selecting expand units at a fort, and then spending some honors to increase the unit's max size, which I should do right now before I forget. Expand units, because I think I have enough to upgrade these two. Yes, I do. More units. More units. So now all of them can hold four, which is, uh, very exciting. Cool. I'm sure you know by now, but airborne enemies are especially weak to- vulnerable to arrow fire. Can't say the same about fighters, though. Their shields deflect our attacks like they were nothing. My red knights rule the skies with grace and composure. If we're leading a unit, we can cross mountains and rivers. We also deal extra damage against ground-based enemies, especially cavalry. Give me this. 
you. Some unsullied uh, timber. Hello. Where the Liberation's deeds had spread far and wide, attracting quite the array of hopeful mercenaries at the fort here. It includes sword fighters like me. We possess a skill called Keen Edge, which is known to never miss its target. It will always strike true, even against enemies with dodging skills. Perhaps you'd like to test? Okay. Uh, four of you, huh? Well, uh, I can organize my group and probably finish you off. Let's see. So, I can add someone else in here. So currently you have that, which I don't want. Let's put Clive in instead, because Clive has uh, the unwavering, yeah, true thrusts. Good, good, good. True thrust if, yeah, and you attack a column with that, right? Flying enemies present, prioritize flying. Activates only when there are flying enemies present. The skill will not activate otherwise. I guess... Shouldn't I change this to, like... Um... Combatant type. Yeah. Target only flying combatants. Yes. And target only scouts. Enemies present is not what I needed there. So that means I can get rid of these and add uh, prioritize full column. I guess I, I guess I can't prioritize full column if I want them to prioritize flying and scout. Let's see, what's the battle look like here? Yeah. Yeah, you can't like prioritize a certain type of enemy and prioritize that there's a full column of them. So Clive's just going to attack whoever's right there. What I could do is just reposition you, put Clive right here. Clive will attack whoever's in front of him. Or no, he's going to attack the flyer. Actually. But I can swap around your, your stuff to be like, hey, uh, do that first. So you'll look for the scout, find them, and then attack that column of enemies right in front of you. And then you'll do wild rush on a full column. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's done. Now, who else do I want in here? How does the battle look like that? Oh, okay, I don't even need the full squad. We'll just win like that. Yeah. Thank you for sparring with me, my liege. And remember, sword fighters such as me perform quite poorly against foes who can guard our attacks. Best avoid deploying us against hoplites. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so before we talk to those two... I mean, I guess it's probably not a battle, right? It's probably just a quest? Uh, the bandits we fought on that last job practically swarmed us the second the battle started. I remember, yes. Each of their units bore four members, a challenging task to overcome. Maybe we should try boosting our max unit size too if we got the honors. Suggest you do the same, good sir. The size of a given unit is, at times, the most important improvement you can make. Hold a moment. It would seem this is a lesson you've already learned. Got a good head on those shoulders, kid. Try to make sure you never lose it. Oh, cool. I'm so glad it applied, you know, retroactively. <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna have to go upgrade after I just upgraded. Remember, the more unit, uh, members you got in the unit, the more strategies you can use. Consider well how combatant skills might complement each other. Alrighty. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go tackle you now, then. Like I said, it seems like it's just like a grinding battle, but... Maybe they want us to beat them, like, once, but then we can keep doing them, if so. Aid Sylvia in her research and defeat the phantom army conjured by the Drebum magic sigil. I gotta at least interact with them once, just to see what happens. Capture the enemy. Okay. And who do we got? We have Hoplite and Warriors. We have Shaman and, yeah, you. Mages. Ooh, a Ballista. Oh, interesting. Ranged attacks on the set target, yeah. God, remember in, uh, I think Sacred Stones had this, and it might have been in other Fire Emblem games too. Remember when, like, the Ballista user was, like, a unit type? <laughs> so odd. 
Okay, and then there's... Yeah, some of those to fight past. Some clerics and a mantlet? Uh, some of those. Okay, so... A few evasive type units, quite a few heavily armored ones. I'll cook something up. Alright, I think I have my three parties together. Probably not going to be using Yana's unit here, but uh, I'm going to be using Cecile's unit, Amelia's unit, and Elaine's unit. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into what I did here. So. Basically, I only put a Cecile on this unit. She's one of my generic Griffin Knights Just because she's a flyer. Um, I gave her the rookie egg and I actually got to do something that I have not done before while doing this stuff I actually did set up a tactics template template because it was actually useful I just wanted to copy all of the skills that my uh, other Griffin Knights had Onto you and set up the tactics and everything correctly So I have a tactics template for Griffin Knights now and you can set them per class and you can have up to five of them, which is Phenomenal um, So we have you set up with that I gave you the rookie egg because you're only level three and I also gave you the recruits hand axe Which gives you even more XP. Um, I gave Chloe the warriors medallion because I'm not using Aubin uh, I didn't change anything about you and Bruno. I just gave the silver bangle. So he's uh, slightly tankier so that's the only th changes there. In this squad, I have Travis, because there's a lot of people that hit very hard here, but don't have True Strike. And uh, once again, the leader of this team is going to be one of the Griffin Knights. Didn't really change anything about either of them. Uh, Travis, I just gave a Baroque Sword, because he had a Recruit Short Sword still. Uh, Berenice, I have in, because there are a lot of big, chunky enemies, like gladiators and warriors and things like that that I want Berenice to be able to chop through. Also, I just want to get the, these characters, a lot of these characters level 10 so they learn their new skills. And Elaine's group is basically set up like this because um, I didn't want to have to drag another Griffin Knight over here. There is a road for us to walk on so we'll be able to move like, okay. Um, I gave Osh the Lapis Pendant and Leather Hood. <clears throat> I brought Rolf into this party because Rolf can actually burn enemies. Uh, and then that'll proc Osh's thing. So we'll have two opportunities to burn enemies. So hopefully we'll be able to get that uh, Fire Burst off a little bit easier. So, cool. I guess, let's see, activates at the end of battle, hit a single enemy with magic. Hit all enemies if target is burning. So yeah, I have it set to prioritize debuffed is there a prioritized ailment target only combatants with afflictions is probably what I want right because a debuff is like a lower attack or something but an affliction is probably you know poison burning stun hmm I can't have it just, like, prioritize... You know what I could do is... Um... Introduce another fire burst, put it up here. Prioritize... Burning. Yeah. And then prioritize debuffed if the burning's not a thing. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Let's just do that. Um, so yeah, didn't really change anything about you. I did give you a brown beret to increase your attack damage. Um, Clive, didn't change anything about you. Elaine, I actually gr gave the uh, Crimson Epe because uh, it gives us access to Active Shatter, which uh, you attack a single enemy and it reduces their AP by one. I have it set for you to attack the enemy with the most AP. You will still hit Cavalry if we run into Cavalry. You'll still use Lean Edge if your HP is too low. Um, I also gave you the Blessed Round Shield which gives you slightly higher guard efficiency, heals 10% when you use your active skill, and gives you more max HP. So, those are the squads. That is what I'm using. The day will be ours. So, first things first. Let's run over here and attack you, I guess. It seems like you're going to survive with barely any HP. Kind of annoying. Uh, and this crew is going to fly over here and kill them. And then I will also grab you face my me. other squad. Uh, yeah, no, neither of them are gonna win, so not in one go. 
So, yeah, have your battle. I want to see how this plays out a little bit. Hello. Active Shatter. No AP for you. Wild Rush. Okay, that did not work. Uh, out. Yeah, go ahead and guard seal me. Find and guard. Now you can't guard either. That's fine, though. Flaming Arrow. And Fireball. Ah, and then here we go. There's Fire Burst. See? This is why I put Rolf in with you. Ah, Lane's getting reduced XP for this, actually, because he's level 13. Oh my god, he is he is a high level. He's just so versatile and good. What can I say? Um, alright. Now let's bring out my what other Wyvern doing? Knight. And you can work on... Taking out that ballista? I feel like I'm totally gonna get shot as soon as I enter, right? Like, that's gotta be how that works. I'm a little bit concerned about how it works, though. Effects ranged attack on a set target. Yeah, you'll just shoot me. And then you probably have, like, a cooldown? Let's just find out yeah, how this works. Knowing. Like, do you start shooting me as soon as I enter the zone? Looks like you do. You face me. Yeah. I'm guessing it you take like a certain amount of time to reload or something now. Nice level up, Clive. I'll not let this go to waste. There's always more to learn. There you go, Rolf. Ooh, dual shot. Attack two enemies. Okay. That's uh something interesting we can uh, work with. So prioritize flying two or more enemies. Otherwise it has you use Um Hmm. I mean, yeah, I would want you to prioritize flying. Prioritize flying two or more enemies. Otherwise, use flame arrow. If I said it flying two or more enemies, it would only check to see if there's two flyers. Prioritize flying two or more enemies. I mean, yeah. Hmm. I kind of don't want that to mess with my flame arrow stuff that I currently have set up, I'll be honest. Uh... I don't need it. Let's see... Flying... Two or more enemies. Yeah... I kinda just wanna set this so it only does it if they're... I could have it set to like... Prioritize flying. Um, now, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do... Uh, target's HP is lower than 50%. And there are two or more enemies. Yeah. So the target HP has to be lower than 50%. And there have to be two or more of them. So... Yeah, that way you can kind of finish ones off that are low health. But you can still use your flame arrow most of the time. I think that's how I want that set up. Time is at hand. Uh, okay. Onward. Get in there. Let's see how this happens. Okay, that's like it's 10 damage it. just like that. We are getting hit. We are killing you, but I'm kind of surprised we're not hitting the, uh, we're not killing the shaman. I would think that, uh, yeah, you would kill him. Oh, that's probably why. Oh, you dodge it, that's why. That's annoying. There you go. Bye swing, bye-bye. Wide smash. Wow, strangely evasive. I have you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty evasive actually. Um, so I actually didn't want you to go over the mountain. Could you cancel your movement and do like this and this instead, please? Thank you. 
Because, yeah, you're quite slow going over that. Uh... Yeah, sure, that looks fine. You're just gonna- you're just gonna kill them. That's fine. I Good stuff. Sharon is level place. 10! We learned to refresh. Remove all debuffs from a row of allies. After an ally is debuffed. Okay, yeah, I mean, that seems pretty good. Um, refresh. So, after an ally is debuffed, remove all the debuffs. Yeah. That seems cool to me. It'll just, you know, you have you have a ton of passive points, so Got that's just useful. On it. Uh, I wish. Uh, Been waiting for this. Yeah, we're not doing quite as much now. Yeah, once it factors in the assist, we lose out on a little bit of damage, probably because we're not doing as many calls. All right. Um. You got orders for me? Yes, I need you to. Summon warriors? Hmm. Or plunder. I think a hasten call will probably be more useful. There you go. Just move faster, here. please. Thank you. There you go. Okay, you got shot again, but that's fine. They're gonna barely survive because those shamans are weirdly evasive. And boom. All right, we're here. No we're back. very beat up, but we are here. Um, it looks like Travis is probably going to go down. Let's see. I do have a healing font. I have five of these. You know, why not? There you go. Now nobody's going to die. And we're going to take out the ballista. Was it super needed? No. But uh, it makes me feel better. No passive for you. Ah, the javelin. Yeah, that's what you get. Ow, stop it. Yeah, that's what you get. You gonna javelin too? Ha <laughs> ha dodged that one. Yeah, eat that, nerd. That's what I thought. We did get beat up a little bit. Those javelins are kind of scary, actually. Especially when there's three of them to use it. All right, what'd you learn? Toxic throw. Attack a single enemy, inflict poison. Hmm. Single enemy, inflicts poison. It is considered ranged as well. Uh... Not even worth bragging over. Okay. The weapon you see here is called a ballista by Prince. As long as it holds bolts, you can use it to continually attack an enemy target. It's a potent armament indeed, if used to its full potential. Ballista are siege weapons that can be operated by any unit. Station a unit, then select the target to attack automatically. Okay. Um, toxic throw. So... What do I actually want to do with that? I feel like I want to move that second. Um... Yeah... I feel like I want to move that to the second spot because Travis getting those extra passive points at the beginning that give him more dodges is kind of what makes him super good. I mean, 94 evasion though, does he even need it? That is the question. Because you could just do toxic throw instead. I could have it like only activate if there's flying units too. Of course, it would be good against tanks. But you know what else is good against tanks? Them not having PP to block for other in it for other allies. Hmm. Having it able to attack like flyers, though, since it is a ranged attack. Yeah, let's do that for now. I don't feel super strongly about that, though. I'll be honest. Uh, let's go take these out. Next. So, don't want to rest with the other group yet. I do still want to capture that ballista, and I am going to use it. But for the moment, 
Let's get you down here. Actually, I don't have Yana. Yeah, I don't have Yana. A shame. Okay, just get down there. The path is set. Uh, you are not going to die. This group of enemies. They're fine. <sighs> Staying here for now. Okay. Uh, you got <laughs> you, you poor fool. You got knocked into my other enemy. How un or my other Nothing ally. How unfortunate. Killing chain. Attack a single enemy. Grant the user plus one AP if the target is defeated. Not even worth bragging over. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um. Heavy slash. Attack a single enemy. Potency 150. Okay. Killing chain. Yeah. If only activates if a target's HP is less than 50%. Then we use that. That's good. I like that. Okay. God. Cell swords are wild. Cell swords are wild. Okay. Grabbed myself a watchtower. These enemies are dead. That's good to me. There you go. Alright. So you continue down this way. You can have a nappy. You got orders for me? And we'll go over here to kill these dorks. Hello. Yeah, this was a pretty simple little this. fight. Yeah, you poor fools never stood a chance against the, the two Give griffins. Uh, okay, About question. Time. Can you rest? I don't think other enemies have noticed you. Yes, they have. Uh-oh. You got orders for me? Um... With this, hasten call. Uh, how long is it going to take them to get there? They are walking along the road. Oh, they're getting there real fast. Um, Hiya! Get them, my warriors! There we go. <laughs> Dumbasses. That was nothing. I need to take a break. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, the Elaine, get hand. on the road, you fool. The set. There we go. My god. I thought they would have followed them a little bit more accurately than that. Uh Okay. Elaine could go and take them out. What are we doing? Alternately, you could go and absolutely destroy them. So, go attack them. Elaine, you can man the ballista. Select a target and launch an attack. There we go. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, shoot that one. Okay. And yeah, those two are about to meet. You can go over here to the Even mantlet and know. take them out. No holding back. Easy win. All right. The music here is Service very different. Enjoy, Never Chloe. Cool. All right. Yeah, this is uh, going to be a pretty easy fight. Uh, cute. And no you're back. dead. Bye bye. How's that for Big good? level up for Amelia. Getting level 13. What I have been doing? using the absolute I'm hell out of that unit after all. Uh, sure. So, Elaine is not needed in Epilista anymore. We just need to kind of run in and take the these final few enemies out. So, you garrison that. Uh, and you got orders for me? now I'll go over there. Um, ooh, nope. I still want to pause. Thank you. Um, disembark and walk. Oh, it puts you like the furthest away possible. About time. Okay. And then this squad can kind of move up it. here as well. Uh, you and you go in there I'm and do going. some work. I can, in fact, speed you up as well. The Summon Warriors is just super good, especially if you need, like, kind of just a stopgap. 
A lot of the more useful abilities are the one-cost ones where you can just use as a stopgap. I haven't been using the expensive ones no, as much. I should probably give those a shot too, but... With how cheap they are, they're just so useful. Okay, so... That much... That much. We'll just go ahead and finish the fight. Been for Looks this. good to me. Bye-bye! So long! A little bit of tricorn pride for you. A little bit of tricorn pride. Stay in here for now. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Novice military treatises. Cool. Seven of those, so... Yeah. Let's see, like, do we get a, like, first-time clear reward for these or... Anything? I mean, I got a big score. I mean, you get small amounts of money, small amount of renown, small amount of honors. Sigil's Tribal getting- okay, you do. You do get rewards for, for doing them at least once. Okay, that's nice. I got a Phantom Knight Shield, a Dua Protection, and Novice Military Treatise. Thank you. Fascinating. We've earned a reward for our first success in the Sigil's Trial. But given everything we know about this- about them, I should hardly be surprised at this point. In any case, there's still more Sigils elsewhere in Fevrith. Let's be off. Okay, cool. So you do get a reward. That is quite nice. Ooh, a report conversation between, uh, Elaine and Osh. That's, uh, that's cool. So, new shield that I got. What exactly does that do? Um... It's called, like, a phantom... Yeah, a phantom knight shield. Zero physical defense. Its guard efficiency is up. Oh, but magic defense through the roof. Okay, so it's just a magic defense shield. It's just the magic defense shield. Okay, so if you're fighting a lot of mages, equip that. Alright, um... I do have a lot of items I should probably use. Um, increased physical defense, magic defense... Increases all of a target's stats by one or two. Allow a character's appearance to be changed. Magic mine... Yeah, I have a few of these interesting things. Okay. Um... Well... I can increase some of these things. So, who do we want to buff? Physical defense. I feel like out of the characters... Let's see, Bruno... Elaine, obviously. I might give Elaine the Dew of Illusion, though. Um... Let's give one to Bruno, as far as dues of protection go. And then do of warding, let's give to Lex. Because his magic defense is pretty lackluster. Other do of protection can go on... Let's see, Travis maybe, in case he does take a hit. Let's put that one on Bruno, too. Just make Bruno even better at tanking. And then do of Illusion, I think that's just gonna go on Elaine. Alright, so all of Elaine's stats just went up by one. Or two, it said. It's kind of wild, it doesn't show it for that one. I would almost want to see it to see what, what ones went up. But, uh, alright. That's that. So, that's one of those taken care of. Apparently we could have run into one of those earlier. Maybe the first one is over here, actually. But it's saying it's level one, like beginner one, makes me think it's probably around here somewhere. Not totally sure, though. Yeah, and then there's the battle for Istania that I could go do. But uh, I think what I want to do is just pop into some of these and just make sure I can't fix them. How long have we been recording, actually? We did have a crazy- okay, we've almost been recording an hour. I can't end this soon. A lot of that was me making my team, I guess, but we had a giant episode tomorrow, so it's- it's fine. It's fine. So, what do you got here? Deliveries... Okay, I do have enough lumber. So let's just deliver that. There you go. Now we can... Put someone here in the Sierra Town. Everyone in this village is eternally grateful. Thank you. More renown. Uh, obviously not doing those. Station of Guard. Gregor. Okay. 
It is still your Anything answer. interesting? In right no. Bye bye. All right, so that's done. Do what I can. We have someone stations. Done a great service this day. Everyone in this village is eternally grateful. Thank you. All right, let's go check out a group home. Ooh, hi. Yeah, because I don't have somebody stationed here. Uh, some of this stuff can still be collected. How am I supposed to get to that if I can't get across water? I'm guessing it's from over there. It must be, right? So, let's collect these things since I haven't been in this area for a bit. So there is probably stuff to collect. Walked a little bit too far this way, though. All of those are already looted, so I guess there wasn't that much that that thing had going for it. Alright. Uh, hello. So, meager timber. Boy, do I have some for you. Enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you kindly, your highness. We'd still be living off water and old bread if you hadn't come along and helped us out. Yeah. More resources. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, Yana? I'll do it Boom. For you. Holocornia is after a new leader, you know. I just pray we find one as good as you. If you don't mind me saying so, your highness. I'll probably use the new units, or at least try to use the new units that we got in the next fight that we get into. You just seem very, very good. Details. What, what, what details will he give me about you? Servant and Master of the Forbidden Axe Hearts. Excels at offense and defense in equal measure. Bears attack skills, which can cause afflictions. Okay. And then, boasts high initiative, critical rate, and evasion. Effective versus foes with high evasion such as these. Ineffective versus foes with high accuracy. And then Prim is just a normal cleric. And you're a sword fighter just like Leia is, right? Where did Leia go? Or did I actually not get Leia? Where was where was Leia? I swear I did. Yeah, no, I no, I got Leia. Yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. Never, what am I talking about? I was wondering for a second. I was like, wait, did I did I get Leia on the team? Yeah, no, I totally did. Yeah, so you you, you two are the same class. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're just the different gendered looks for them. Okay. Here I am doubting myself. And then yeah, you it's my first named shaman. Okay, that's cool. So uh that's taken care of. I wanna go over here. Abigail. What do you want? I have all of these things. There we go. Wrap it up. Beautiful. Many honors gained off of that, too. Our days of suffering have finally come to an end, thanks to your generous aid. It's been quite some time since I've had such hope for the future. You're welcome. And station. There we go, resets. Possessions Lord Renault stole from us may be gone forever, yes, but we can still rebuild. I have great faith in that. Alright, so next, as far as things go, I want to do... Is there anything that I want around here? There's a viper bow there. Interrogator's bow. There's the dove plume. The walled city of Esquiquit. Sorry. Uh, vitality style. Ooh, hoarfrost axe. Crude tacit. Oh, I wanted the citadel's guard sabatons, didn't I? I remember thinking those sounded dope. Hello. It is still you're after. You're in the right place. Uh, guarding impetus grants the user plus one AP after guarding an attack. Yes, please. Done and done. Wall grants the user buff that it gets one physical attack. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good too. Negate one physical attack. If I just really wanted to go all in on like, just be a big tank. That could be a good one. The Gambler's Coin was... Buff an ally for their next attack. Grants plus 30% attack, 50% crit damage, and minus 50 accuracy. 
I mean, that would be good if you used it on someone that had a true strike. Like a, an archer, I guess. But, um... Or like Clive when he's using that one attack. That is a fun one, though. It's not really a gamble if you uh, just game the system to uh, always work in your favor, though, is it? Okay, so those are bought out. Wavering Spear, Horfrost Axe. I'm kind of interested in this Horfrost Axe. I imagine it just freezes people. It is steel you're after. You're in the Icy right blow, place. attack a single enemy and inflict freeze. Yes, that is indeed what it does. I will be buying that because it's interesting. Done and cool. And we got other places. Wavering Spear. Cavalry Hunter's Buckler. Battler's Shield. Sorcerer's Medallion, I probably want. There's also a Runic Spear hiding right there. There is one thing I want to do. And that is sell, like, the equipment that at this particular point is just, like, completely useless. And that's all of this bronze stuff. Um, all of that can go. Careful. You walk out, and it's gone forever. Because, uh, I just, I just find we don't, we don't need it anymore. Like, ooh, maybe some of the axes we do still need. But the bronze swords, we had so many of. We don't need this many bronze spears. Get rid of some of those. Just some of this, some of this generic equipment that we really just don't need. It just kind of fills in a lot of the, uh... Stuff that I uh, want to use, like it, it just uglies up my menu. Basically, I don't really get a lot of money for it, but I don't want it there uglying up my menu. Lately, our apprentice switches have really started coming into our own under Lady Yana's tutelage. We're prepared for anything now, when we won't let Zenoira set another foot in the swamp. Obviously, I'll never get rid of unique equipment like the Horfrost axe or any kind of special stuff like that because I always want the options there. But, uh, just generic shit, like a bronze sword, I will get rid of. Uh, okay, where's our rapport with, um... I guess I haven't unlocked the location, have I? Uh, Elaine... and Osh. At Fort Vale. Oh, never mind, I just totally missed it on the map. Oh, it doesn't show up on the map. Interesting. Hi. Let's view the rapport conversation. Could you spare a moment, your highness? What is it, Osh? As it just so happens, I've recently devised a new battle formation oriented purely towards the magical arts. I was hoping I might test it out when Zonora next strikes, but I'll need more sorcerers if I wish to do so. In that case, I'll have some transferred over from another unit right away. You would truly do that for me? But it's still just an idea! No guarantee it will prove effective. Nor will you, nor will you, until you have the opportunity to assess its utility in genuine combat. Should it fail, I have every faith you will see its flaws refined, perhaps even more so should it succeed. Well, yes, I suppose so. It's an odd sensation speaking with you like this. You treat me with the, uh, not with the contempt I'd expect from a royal prince, but care and respect for your common man. That's because I've spent more time living and hiding on Polyvian shores than sipping fine teas in the royal chambers. But for my part, Osh, I consider you to be anything but common. It is clear you're a great sorcerer, even if you fail to realize it yourself. And seeing how little I know of the finer points of magic, tis of merit indeed to have you around. Then let us alert the other sorcerers at once. I'll do whatever I must to remain worthy of that praise. I'm certain you will. Hey, that was a sweet one. Cool, cool. Uh, there's more stuff for me to gather around here, so I might as well do that, I suppose. Although... Yeah, we filled in every single town that I can possibly do on this, uh, continent now, so... That wasn't so bad, but we will probably need more of this for the future. So no, no harm in collecting it. Uh, alright, so now that we've done that, I know I, I know I keep saying, but next. But next. But, uh, I want to start gifting some people. We haven't really done much of this. Uh, who enjoys decorating tea, appreciates finery, flowers. Enjoys decorating. What do you enjoy? Shall guard this town with my life. 
I mean, these replica swords were very easy to get. 60. I feel like that's good. Such gifts are wasted on a mere retainer, but thank you, your highness. Ooh, new rapport conversation between you two. Okay, so we'll, we'll follow up on that soon. But I just want to kind of jump around between the characters and see uh, who I can help with various things. Uh, those who enjoy cooking, appreciates finery, decorating, reading. Um, who do we have over here? I'm kind of looking for... This is Hodrick. Um... Hey, Hodrick, you, you want a replica sword? 30. Okay, Hodrick doesn't care. It is an honor. Yeah, it said for people that like decorating, so... Um, does it tell me here? No. Who I have stationed at each town? Is there a way to see that? Character lists... Details... Nah... I don't see a way to easily... See that quest log heraldry. Hmm. Hmm. That'll be that'll be something for the comments to tell me if there if there is a way to just like see you know who you have stationed at each place as a guard. Uh, let me know because uh, that might be useful. Uh, I don't know what you want, Rolf. I'm looking for like Scarlet and stuff. Because I know that one of them would like the Polyvian scripture. And then obviously the Lapis Lazuli I could give to like... Uh, you know, someone rich basically. Travis, eh. Don't really know what I would give you. I mean, do you appreciate finery? You're a thief. I don't know though, I don't think so. I don't think you would. I, like, I'm thinking like Clive. Hey, speaking of, what do you think of this? A hundred, yes! It's an honor to receive such a fine gift. Okay, Clive likes finery. Good. Good, noted. Like I said, someone someone rich, someone high standing. You? I don't know, Aubin. Yeah, I'm good with this kind of thing. I'll keep him safe. Uh, You, I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to know any tips on who to give who to give what. I like kind of sussing it out myself. It's fun to me. Well, I know you like animals. And that's about all I know about you, Bruno. We've gotten a little bit of information about you. A teensy tiny bit. Uh, this is one of my generics, I believe. Also, here I was saying that we had gotten everything on here, but we have not gotten this one. And I have enough. I misread that map earlier. There we go. Beautiful. Let's station a guard here. Um, hey, the mine's open too. Okay, cool. We can do the mine stuff again. Uh, let's station somebody I know here. Uh, friend? <gasps> Berenice. I've got it under control. Yay! Mine's open again and the town's livelier than ever. Thank you, thank you. I've got 20 blocks of stone left over from their pairs. What say I let you have them for 2,000 gold? 20 blocks of stone? I mean, sure, that's pretty cheap. I'll set some more aside. Okay. I can just buy stone here? I mean, I, I guess I didn't really need it because I'm in the mine and stuff. Wait. Oh, I thought it was actually going to open like a mining spot here for me. Like a quarry, yeah. It did not, though. Might have just wasted my money a little bit there, but eh. I mean, we need the stone to build bridges, so... That's still useful, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, hi. Used to this kind of work. It's what they hire me for. Um... Uh, hi, 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 queen. Uh... I don't think you would like la Lapis. I don't- I don't think you would like Lapis. Uh... Over here. What about you? Uh... Osh. Flowers... Would you appreciate finery? Yes. You were- you were- you were from a noble family. I'm not used to receiving compliments for my work, but thank you. There you go. 
Okay. More royalty. Uh... You're just a generic. Yeah, Gregor. So I don't need to worry about you. Lacrissel. Is this Fran? No, this is Amelia. Is there even a reason in giving your generics gifts? Aha! Sharon! I intend to restore the hearts of every wounded soul in town. Well, here you go. Oh, really? Only 60? It's not one of the hundreds like before? Interesting. This is quite a wonderful gift. Are you certain you wish to give it to me? Oh, well, you, you liked it a lot, it seems. Cool. Alright, so we do have two more rapport conversations we can go see. I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but... Uh, Joseph. Facility is not registered. Sharon. Yes. Ron Mort Church. Ooh, and stuff. Here we go, more stone. Uh, yes. I will check it out. Thank you, ma'am. Please, it's my pleasure. Scrape my knee real bad, Sharon. They're all better now. If only it were that easy. Hmm? What seems to be the matter? Oh, uh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, that's it. Oh, are people just coming to see you because you're cute? Appreciate it. I know you're game, pal. You're just faking sick so you can see Sharon. You can talk. Who's ever heard of going to a healer for a little scrape? So loud. Damn it. Just think what she'd say if she heard us talking like this. You're a kind soul to be doing this, Sharon. Especially on the day you're meant to be resting. Yes, well, it's the only way I feel like I can repay my debt. Your debt to whom? The orphanage here at Ronmore. It's where I was raised, actually. And though they received plenty of donations after Zonora invaded, there's still so much they need my help with. As I've noticed, yes. I only ask that you not exert yourself beyond your means. I won't. Though if anyone should be making that request, it's me of you. Oh, and do let me know if you ever need have need of my healing. I'll be glad to assist you however I can. Okay. I got two honors. Yay. Alright. Well, I think we'll go ahead and end things off there for this episode. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.